Hi, so today we're going to take a look at how to build this custom interaction on Webflow. This interaction is really popular of desired portfolio, that type of creating websites, and it's really simple to do. So today we're going to learn how to do that in less than 15 minutes on Webflow. So as you can see, this is the homepage of the Haritos Constantinos website. He's a creative, creative director and designer. So when you hover certain uh, words, you can see an image behind the text. So how do you build that on the web Webflow? Like this is the basic version of it. Later on, you can customize it to match like the maybe the the effect, the filter that has the image, etc. But the, this is the basics. So here we have the the simple markup that I made. Just have a header that is going to be the navbar. Have the navbar container and some simple navigation. And then we have another div that is the hero text wrapper. Inside that we have another div that is the container of the text. We just have an H2, an H1, and two divs that are the two images that we want to display in the back. So this is the H2, this is the H1, and this is the first image and the second image. These, are, these images are paintings of Van Gogh. So in the image section, we just have this styling. So we have a width and a height, and also a position absolute. So I just position it right in the center of the text where we want to show it, show it in the background. So the same for the other image is position absolute and in the back of the text. So something that to have in mind, if you like, you should be giving the container of these two images the position relative. So the absolute position is absolute like relative to the container and it's not all over the, the, the page. It's really important to do that today. So your container should have the relative position for this to work. So you just, to separate the words that you want to, to use, you just go to the heading or to the text and you select some words and you hit this button to grab with a span. So when you grab it with a span, you will see uh this as a new block on webflow perfect so we have two spans inside the text this and that so these are the two texts that we want to add the interaction to so how to do the interaction this is like the phone part so you go to the interactions plan panel and we are going to create two, two types of interaction. One is a hover interaction and one is a move, uh, sorry, if a, is a move over interaction. So the first interaction, the hover interaction, the idea is to display the image because at initial state, the image is going to be invisible. So when you hover, the text is going to show up. And when you hover out, it will uh, hide again. So that's what you, what we first want to do. So you click in element trigger and mouse hover and on hover we want to um, show the image that was previously hidden. So we hit the start animation, we create a new animation just, as, uh, just like that and then you just hit the image that you want to appear so this is the image so we hit uh, opacity so the initial state of opacity is zero so it's hidden and you hit set as initial state and at the end we want to set opacity to 100 to fully view the view the image and we want to put some easing and yeah just like that we have it so now we're going to do the hover out interaction that is basically the same thing as the hovering but to, but inverse so we are just going to duplicate the current one we're going to change the we're going to change the now we just inverse the 
the actions. So, and we deselect the set as initial state. That's really important. And yeah, basically that's it. So first is showing up and then it's going to be hidden. In this case, it's really important to first to give the duration to the uh, second state and not to the first state. But uh, if we do it like I did it, yeah, it will not work right. So we're going to change that and we're going to have this to be duration zero and the opacity zero to be duration something. We are just going to put some easing and that's it. And yes, so that should work now. Perfect. It should it work as intended. So this is the first part of the, the interaction. The second part of the interaction is the move uh, over element part. So the move over has two sections, like the mouse x actions and the mouse y actions. The mouse x actions, when you are at 0%, that means that you are in the all the way to the left side. And 100% is all the way to the right. So all the way or sorry, on the left, we just want the the image to be like, uh, I don't know, yeah, like in a center, in the center is good. And when we have the mouse on the right, we just want the image to be to the right. So it kind of follows the the mouse. That is the effect that, is the effect that we want. So yeah, something like this. Maybe minus 100%, yeah, something like that. It should be cool. And when you are on the right, we just want it to be on the right of the item. Yeah, 100%. So now, uh, in the mouse y, y actions, when you are in 0%, that means that you are on the top. And on 100%, you are on the bottom. In that way, we want at the top, the image to be like exactly where it is and on the bottom to be a little bit more more to the bottom so it kind of follows the mouse so well, well I think minus 100 is not good yeah, I think 0 is, is better so now on the bottom we just want we just want to be a little bit more to the bottom but not too much because we don't want uh, much of movement because it can be some kind of not as smooth so we just get some easing on the two actions um, that's basically all the interaction these two interactions combined so if you combine those we have this interaction perfect so when you hover it it shows and follows the mouse and when you hover out it doesn't follow perfect that is exactly what we want so yeah and what is left is only to repeat the same thing for the other image and the other link. So how to do that? We're just going to duplicate things and change the target of the elements. So we are going to go to the uh, to the other span link and add these two element tr triggers. So now we are going just going to select the other a span link in the element triggers we have to add the two triggers that we talked about earlier so we have the mouse hover we're just going to start an animation and copy the one that we did earlier duplicate it the image appear and just change the targets of the different steps so we're just going to duplicate image appear and image disappear so image appear <coughs> remember this is the interaction that makes the thing to to be shown show up so just change the target to the correct image change the target perfect so then we're going to on hover out and we're going to select the duplicated 
image disappear element and change the target to the correct image that we want to disappear that is the second one perfect and change the target on this one too perfect and save and that's it and we're, we're just going to do the same thing for the mouse move over element uh, interaction so let's duplicate the one that we did earlier this one move image and we we're going to change the target of the image to be the second image so change target select the second image and do the same thing for this one and for the other two also and just like that we have the full interaction done so let's test that out let's see perfect and this one perfect i think it's moving too much on the x axis so i think we should change that uh, for later on but overall is it's exactly what we were looking for like this is the basis of the interaction we see earlier so instead of 100% I think we, we should be doing to a little bit less than that maybe 30 and yeah let's check that out uh, it's perfect perfect this one so uh, perfect we just have finished the interaction and yeah just like that thank you have a great one